Hey guys and welcome to Film Artsy, your number one source for all things films, movies, and Marvel. My name is Elijah and first and foremost I just wanted to go ahead and thank you guys on behalf of everyone on the Film Artsy team for us finally reaching 300,000 subscribers. We honestly could not do it without your guys' support. All of you guys who are fans from either Marvel or DC or from maybe just other movies that you joined up with our channel on along the way. Just all the coverage that we've done as a team over the past few months and even years for some of us. We just really appreciate all of the support you guys have given us and we're super excited to finally have passed 300,000 subscribers. So with that, we are officially launching Marvel Month 2019 where we are going to be doing a ton of coverage on Marvel and just Marvel movies, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, especially because as of the time you're watching this, Avengers Endgame is exactly one month away, which is super exciting for all of us. So that being said guys, today we are going to be taking a look at the best superhero landings in all of the MCU history. Now we know Deadpool did a pretty clever joke and did a fun play on just the fact that superhero landings are overdone in the movies. So you gonna do a superhero landing? Wait for it! Woo! Superhero landing! Yeah, that's really hard on your knees. But there's some pretty awesome ones in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and why don't we take a look at them? All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. Agent Romanov, you miss me? Oh yeah, Charles, we got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Behind us. Captain, big fan, Spider-Man. Hey everyone. So over the 11 years that the Marvel Cinematic Universe has been a thing, we've seen a ton of different superhero landings. Sure, some of them are your standard two legs and a fist on the ground with a bunch of kind of debris maybe shaking the earth a little bit. Variations of this we've definitely seen over the years, but for today's video we're going to look at the ones that really stand out or did something special, even if they're not exactly the standard superhero landing. So first on the list we're going to take a look at Falcon from Captain America Winter Soldier who has this awesome flight pattern he does right before he catches Captain America and lands smoothly. Roger! Let me know when you're ready! Adjust in! So this one obviously wasn't the stereotypical landing like you see in a lot of cases, but it's still really cool and when we were doing research for which ones we wanted to include on this list, there was no way we just couldn't include that clip just because Falcon's a super underrated character and his work with Captain America is pretty nice. Next up we have a scene of Black Widow from Iron Man 2. Falling more into the traditional superhero landing, this was actually a really good introduction to this character, especially because Black Widow is one of the first characters of the Avengers who didn't really have a standalone movie. So in an effort to shoehorn another superhero character in before the first Avengers movie came out, they gave Black Widow a pretty major role in Iron Man 2 in the same way they gave Hawkeye a pretty major role in Thor. Still, the scene was really cool because it was kind of the first major action scene with Black Widow and it showed that this was a pretty cool character who's gonna stick around and do more than just be a random side character in the movies. Next up we have Spider-Man with the Hey Everyone clip from Captain America Civil War. Alright, I run out of patience. Underoos! Let's 
job, kid. Thanks. Well, I could have stuck the landing a little better. It's just a new suit. Wait, it's nothing. Mr. Stark, it's, it's perfect. Thank you. Yeah, we don't really it's... need to start a conversation. Okay. Cap Captain? Big fan of Spider-Man? Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Just... Hey, everyone. Good job. This is definitely one of those classic scenes from the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe as a whole because there was so much hype from the community when we found out that not only Spider-Man would be making an appearance in Captain America Civil War, but this was the scene that was shown at the end of one of the major Civil War trailers. And it was so awesome because at that time, people never really knew if Spider-Man would be able to be in an Avenger movie or a Marvel Cinematic Universe movie because the fact that Spider-Man's license were owned by Sony. Fortunately, Marvel and Disney struck a deal with Sony, allowing them to use the rights, and just to introduce Spider-Man in a movie that people wouldn't expect, and in this way, was really unique and really, really cool. Next, we're going way back, almost to the beginning of the Marvel Cinematic Universe as a whole, and we're taking a look at The Incredible Hulk from 2008. Sure, while Ed Norton is no longer in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and he was recasted, seeing the Incredible Hulk in 2008 kind of do that jump and slam landing, which is more akin to a typical superhero landing, was still really cool to see on the big screen. <laughs> While the plot of this movie might have been kind of all over the place, some of the fight scenes and action scenes were really good, and by CGI standards for 2008, this movie actually looks pretty fantastic, and this is definitely a highlight of some of the coolest superhero landings we've seen in the past 11 years. As we continue to round out some of the best of the best superhero landing scenes we've seen so far, we really have to talk about Black Panther and that car chase scene. Your suit. You've been taking bullets, charging it up with kinetic energy. Put around the truck. Ready, go! This one's just so cool because it is the same typical superhero landing but it shows the agility of Black Panther and it also shows just an amazing action sequence that really took some planning obviously to pull off because just from looking at this from a cinematographer side of things, it's very impressive that they were able to figure out ahead of time what type of shots would best showcase this scene and it really worked well and it's probably one of the best action scenes in Black Panther involving him wearing the suit. There was a ton of awesome fight scenes and just other action scenes without the suit, but this is definitely a highlight of the movie, and it's no surprise that they chose to put this in the trailer for the movie just because it was that cool. Next up, we have the elevator scene from Captain America, The Winter Soldier. While the elevator scene is a legendary in itself, just because it's possibly one of the coolest choreographed fight scenes that we've seen from Captain America, outside of maybe his fight scene with the Winter Soldier himself, this is just such an awesome scene, but honestly, Captain America's escape is often overlooked. And it's really, really cool that he just dives out of a window and uses the shield to break his fall. I still don't understand the logistics of how it's possible, but it makes for great movie scenes and it was a really cool scene overall and a great conclusion to one of the coolest scenes in the movie as a whole easily. 
And I find myself liking this movie more and more when we look at these specific scenes individually. Next, we're jumping ahead to Thor Ragnarok, and you guys know exactly what scene I'm talking about. Yeah, this scene was just so awesome for so many different reasons. Just the fact that they took Thor and spun it in a different light to really just show some really awesome things that fans could get behind rather than trying to dilute a plot with a bunch of confusing elements. Ragnarok was a really, really good movie and it really trimmed the fat that maybe the Thor franchise had so far and did something unique and great and this fight scene is a great culmination of what they had been working on and it just looks so awesome. I can watch this one over and over again and not get tired of it. But as we're still talking about Thor, while well, this is another one of those that isn't really a superhero landing because you don't see it in that way, he is landing in this next clip and it's that classic bring me Thanos scene from Avengers Infinity War and it's just so cool. Yeah, I still can't get over just how cool the scene was with him just landing in there with the Stormbreaker and just the way that he did that. It's a real shame he didn't aim for the head, but you know what? I'll forgive it if I get to watch this scene over and over again. And finally, we have Iron Man, and he's had a ton of really awesome superhero landing scenes. We're gonna play a couple real quick. I'm the best. Okay, but to top it off, some of the best, best Iron Man landing scenes definitely have to go to Iron Man 2 where Iron Man makes his entrance at the very beginning on the stage of his own event. I feel like Rhodey doesn't ever get enough love, but he's a really cool character and he's been around for a really long time in the MCU as this version of Rhodey coming in in 2010 for Iron Man 2, but technically the character has been around since 2008 and he deserves a little bit of credit also. And then obviously this is more of a forgotten scene, but the scene where Iron Man lands and saves the kid and thanks the kid. This scene, it's not as awesome of a superhero landing without the context of what's going on here, but it actually was confirmed later on that that kid is in fact Peter Parker, who was on a trip to California to go to the Stark convention where all of this takes place. And that's actually him trying to stand up and he almost gets obliterated, but fortunately Tony Stark steps in and saves the day. And to this day, he's still saving Peter Parker. So it's just kind of cool how they worked this character in retroactively in a really unique way. And it's just a really memorable moment. So I wanted to include it in this video, especially because this video is a special video marking the beginning of Marvel month where we're going to be covering a ton of more Marvel stuff in the future in the next coming days so make sure you guys are subscribed with notifications on 
And that's all for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below. Be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on. And we'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye, guys. Hey guys, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit the like button down below and subscribe for more Film Artsy. If you guys want to showcase your talent to the world, Film Artsy is the best place for you guys to do it. Please submit your videos to filmartsyofficial at gmail.com or you guys can click the link in the description. We really want to see what kind of talent you guys can provide. So let us know, send us an email, and we'll check out your videos, and we'll see you all in the next video. Talking? I'm about to. Hi everybody. Hey everybody, how you doing? Hi. <laughs> Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> 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 See you guys. <laughs>